visiting family in the Columbia, South Carolina area, and I just had to stop at some of the local game stores there. They have quite a few game stores in the Columbia area, and um, this was the first one we stopped at. I was here with my nephew, Brayden. He's there in the watermelon hoodie. He's my game buddy. As you walk in, they have various items. Some gotcha pawns. Gotcha, gotcha. A lot of Xbox 360 games. I did pick up a few games from here. I'll put those in the next video. That Sega Saturn inbox for 180 blew my mind. They also had other systems there in the back for a really good price. That was my favorite thing probably. It was just they had several systems, really good prices. Obviously lots of games, various deals. It was a nice uh, size, you know, mom and pop shop. Um, it was pretty busy when we got there, so I didn't take too much time trying to video all the nooks and crannies. I wanted to more scan it, give you guys a good idea what it, you know, what it looked like, what's all in there. People here were really nice when I talked to them. We carry pretty much everything. Look at all those pretty color controllers. Prices were really good. That was my favorite part. And the old school systems and all the games that you want with them was nice to see like Sega CD games, Sega Saturn games, you know. You are approaching Saturn. You are only seconds away. I have arranged for you to meet my companion. He will lead you. Watch. Please, don't disappoint him. He doesn't like that. Our next stop was Old School Player Video Games. From the outside, this place was pretty huge. And it was pretty expansive on the inside. We stopped at another store in between these two, but he was in the process of, you know, moving everything around and restocking, so I didn't really get any video of that. This place, however, was already well stocked. Hey, there's Brayden again. If you see anything that stands out, let me know in the comments. There was a lot to look at. Probably could have spent the entire day just hanging out in here and looking at everything. And we spent a good bit of time in here talking to the owner and the other worker there. Brayden and the other guy there was hitting it off pretty well. So you can see, lots of Wii games, it's shelves and shelves, all different directions of different games. Got some GameCube and some Wii U. And look, Sega Saturn games, look at that, tons of them. I think every game store I stopped at in that area had Sega Saturn games, which was cool. You don't see them too often in my area. Of course, lots of PS2 and even more. Some cool anime figs. Coleco Vision. 
That other store had that in television. I don't know if you saw it when I was scanning on the top shelf. It was pretty cheap too. The guy was looking at it. They had it in box for 75 bucks. And of course there's some guides down there. Some accessories. Plenty of SNES games. Some Sega. We just had a good time, you know, stopping in, checking these places out. Definitely bought some games, bought a good bit of games. I'll do that in the next video. Nice to get to know these people a little bit. Brayden finally got his hands on Persona 5, which is pretty cool. So that's what he picked up. And here, this is where I found some really goodies. Some of the stuff I've been looking for, they had in here. And most of the things I bought were out of there for a really good price. And they got some controllers, of course, all different kinds. And the rooms to the right and left are game rooms you can rent for about 10 bucks an hour. And this one I stopped in, the retro room. It's pretty awesome. Gives off that awesome 70s vibe. And they got these two flat screen CRTs. And they're hooked up with all kinds of game systems. The other room has the, uh, you know, more modern games. But there was uh, people renting that at the time. But look at all these cool posters, man. I just like coming in these rooms and hanging out. A couple more scans here of some more games uh, shelves. Got them PS3 games. They got lots of them, of course. PS4, they got Pops. Who doesn't have Pops these days? Look, they got that Captain Crunch pop. They make a pop for everything, don't they? There's some other cool things up here. Fisty Cup, that Thug Life. And behind the counter, they have a whole bunch of goodies. And they have this clearance section, which is pretty cool. I just flipped through it a little bit. Keep your eyes open for that next video. I'll be going over my game pickups. I hope you like this video and give me a subscribe and a like and I will see you guys later. Peace, love, and cheese.